Hi, I'm Todd Anderson. Hey, Tom Ross. And you're watching the Versus series on StarCityGames.com. All right, we're here playing some modern before the open in Charlotte uh, this weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun, Tom. You it going? Will. Yeah, I'm definitely going. The new start to the, the open series pro SCG tour. <laughs> we uh, don't know what to call it's it. It's going to take we're... a little while to get used to it, but yeah. We're, yeah. we're just coming off of the open in Cincinnati where I may be playing this deck. Who knows? I haven't really decided yet, but depending on how that goes, determine if I play that in Charlotte. Yeah, so we're going to be playing uh, Modern all week this week, so be sure to check out all the Versus videos with Tom Ross, uh, Brad, Brad Nelson, and myself. Uh, today I'm going to be playing a Black-White Wasteland Strangler concoction. Uh, we call it Black-White Eldrazi Control. Mm -hmm. uh, but basically this deck uses the cheaper Eldrazi from uh, uh, whatever the Battle, Battle for, for Zendikar. Zendikar. Uh, alongside things like Eldrazi Temple and Eye of Ugin, which uh, allows them to be a lot cheaper than they should be. And uh, you get a lot of cool interactions off of all of the processors. Uh, you know, you get uh, uh, Wasteland Strangler, Blight Herder, uh, Oblivion Sower, uh, a lot of really cool stuff going on alongside things like Path to Exile and Relic of Progenitus. Yeah, there are a lot of cheaper ways in modern to exile things like Path to Exile and Relic that just don't exist in standard. So you have to work a lot harder in standard where in modern it should be a lot easier. Yep, what are you playing, Tom? I'm playing a Mono White Hate Bears deck. They got Knight placing in the mocks. Uh, Little Darwin ran it. Paul Rietzel in real life. Um, looked really cool. It's kind of like Craig Wesco's Green White Hate Bears deck, except it's just, you know, Mono White. Pretty straightforward. Seems like it disrupts a lot of the big decks in, in modern pretty well. I don't know how it's going to work here. Um, we'll I think see. Wasteland Stringer is going to be great. It should be, yeah. All right, cool. Well, let's go ahead and get to the match and see who takes it down. All right, we're here for game one in the sevens game. Uh, first person to roll seven loses. First one to roll 11 wins. 11. Ooh. Yo. Six. Did you know that yo is 11? Yes, I did know that. <laughs> I play a lot of craps. Uh-oh, there's a seven. All right, six. All right, so I'll be on the play. Let's go and take a look. That's not a great start. Two good spells? Nope. All right, bow, well, bow, bow. even though I can potentially play a turn three blight herder, um... I think this hand is not keepable since we have so many lands, so I'm going to take a mulligan. Me too. I need a file to make this hand even remotely keepable. All right, we're here on six, and this one is also a little wonky, uh, but I think that's just kind of how this deck is, and you have to have somewhere around ten total cards before your deck starts to get going. Uh, we're going to keep it and hope that we get there since we do have a scry. I'm keeping as well. It's pretty average has a file. All right, let's take a look. Um, this thing does not exile stuff, but uh, if we do draw something that exiles, this should be great. So we're going to keep it. Basically keeping any spell or very good utility card. Hmm, that might be good enough. All right, we're going to lead here with a Shamily Vent and say go. All right. These are vile. All right, uh, we're going to play an Inquisition here. Hope we pick off something good. Yeah. Slow them mm -hmm. down so we have a little more time. So we got Thalia, Flicker. Arbiter, Resto, we can't take the Resto in the planes. So, I think Vile plus Flicker Wisp is going to be a way for him to like turn off our Wasteland Strangler. So, I think we actually just want to take the Flicker Wisp, even though um, he is able to just cast his two drops. So he's going to be able to cast his two drops anyway, so we'll take that. Play a Shamily event and say go. A relic of uh, off the top would be real nice. Gotta decide which is better. I guess a lingering soul is more likely in him having a shuffle effect this turn. So, go. Okay. Yeah, we thought about taking Thalia just because it does make lingering souls much harder to cast, but luckily we don't have that in our hand. So, all right, we'll play an Eye of Ugin and say go. Mm. I don't know how good Dry Milton's going to be in this matchup since it exiles my stuff. All right, yeah, we're just going to take the two. I was kind of joking about this exact situation coming up earlier. Well, so cast or not cast it? I don't know. Mm. I ain't getting no better, I guess. Go ahead. Okay. All right, we'll draw. 
Uh, I think I'm just gonna say go again. All right, violin. It's fine. All right. Uh, while you're tapped out, we're gonna pay two for a path on Thalia, and so he can't search with that. And we could have p played path on our turn, but that's exactly what we want to shut oh, down. Paid, so I thought you paid two life for some reason. Nope. Okay. No, you don't get to search. Oh yeah, you ramps are. Uh, it's dual side. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. All right. Smart, smart. Uh, path is exiled for what's worth. Sure. Path to exile is exiled. Alrighty. All right. We'll take four down to fourteen. And go. All right. So you have two cards in hand. Uh, yep. Right, one's so a resto angel. One's a resto. Draw for turn. All right. I'm going to cast Inquisition of Kuzalek. Hope that his last card is something we can take. Don't think I want path to even my creatures. Okay. Yeah, that's actually awesome. So, Drive Militant exiles the path to exile. Uh, we'll tap this for black. I strangler the path to the graveyard. Does that even work with this? We put into a graveyard from anywhere, exile instead. Looks so like it. I think I ingest it and it gets exiled again? Is that how that works? Yeah, how does ingest read? Does it say if you do? It says if you do. I'm not sure. All right. Uh... <laughs> Judge? I don't know how these cards work. They're all too old. All right. Well, regardless, I'm just going to kill the Leon and Arbiter. We're going to get a judge ruling, and either the path is going to be staying exiled or the Thalia is going to be in the graveyard. One of the two. I'm going to put Thalia there. Be All safe. Right, that's fine. Here we go. I guess. Yep. Figured I'd draw this card. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I'll block. <laughs> uh, he has the rest, though, so I want to make sure that... Uh, uh, we don't get punished, so I want to keep as many creatures off the board as I can. I'm casting this flicker with, starting my planes. Okay. I'm going to this instep. All right. I'm, uh, flash in Restoration Angel. So the cool thing about uh, this interaction is that, or if you just had a vial on three, Tom can uh, use the flicker with it during uh, any instep, and then the thing it exiles will stay exiled until the beginning of the next instep. So uh, he plays this, gets his planes back in a turn, vials this in, targets this, and then this can target something. Okay. Target the Eye of Ugin. All right. So it's likely going to shut me down for most things this turn unless I draw something good. And I'm not going to get that back until next turn. I can also I can play the one in my hand, but it doesn't actually accomplish anything right now. So, All right. We drew another nothing. There's no real reason to play the Eye since we're going to... Uh, Legend rule an Eye at yeah. the end of turn. Yep. So we get this back, and then I'm going to do something during your draw step. All right, I'm drawing a card. During his draw step, and we're doing, we're going to play Path to Exile targeting the Restoration Angel. We're going to wait till his draw step so he doesn't get, uh, he, there's more likely he draws a land, um, and since we're targeting the Resto, he can't use Ether Vault plus Resto to protect it. Whereas if we target Flicker with, if he drew Restoration Angel, he could protect it, and then we would get pummeled. All right, three damage. All right, I'm at 11. Your turn. Desperately need to draw. I don't know what we need. A non Ivugan land? Yeah, non Ivugan would be great. Odrazi Temple, perhaps? Yep. So we're going to fetch down a 10. And. I guess just get a planes since we don't want to shorten our clock from the uh, Flicker Wisp by too much. But we're going to spend five Blightheart of these two and get three Scions. We again don't know how this works. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that it goes to exile and then stay, and then it goes from exile to the graveyard, or it tries to, and then it just gets exiled again. Since we honestly don't have any idea, but I'm gonna say go. It'd be sweet if it prevented that happening. It would. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This after this game, we'll go check with the judge, and then we'll have better info for next game. Since Dried Militant is a an odd ducky. All right, so we'll go to seven to twenty. Okay, yep, go. Cool. Alright, if we can turn on these shambling fence, that would be sweet. I might be able to race. 
All right, uh, we're gonna battle for six. We'll hold back one guy. No, we'll just battle for seven. Try to put a little pressure on him. Seven, huh? I think I could. Don't think I'd be a wasteland strangler anyway. All right, I take it. Thirteen. All right, uh, we'll just play another blight herder with no process. And say go. <laughs> Alright, we're at four. Go. So what we can do is sack a scion to turn on a shambling vent here, which I don't mind since um over the course of two turns, we could potentially attack twice with Shambling Vents. And we're not currently threatening lethal. So I'll do that and attack for this many. Seems like a reasonable attack. Reasonable attack. Alright, path the Shambling Vent. But draw a. I'm gonna take a, if I draw a removal spell, I'll kill him. <laughs> Flicker Wisp, I guess, might do it too. Yep, alright. Uh, so you take 8 down to 5. Yep. Here you go. Well, good news is I'm not dead, I don't think. I was dead to Flicker Wisp or removal spell. Attack them, everybody. I have this in five. It's not, not great. All right, check with these. Right, block one. Uh, wow. Go to one. Judge is familiar. Go. All right. Well. I think I'm drawing super slim. All right, so if I attack with everybody, he has to block both blight herders, or I mean, he could block here, but that seems poor. So we'll go ahead and just attack here. Why would I block here? That's what I'm saying. You could block here, here, take four down to one, but both your guys still die in, in that case anyway, so that's all that matters. I should have left this to block this, but then you could vent me. I mean, yeah, I'm going to go to one. I don't want you having a okay. one all. And I'm going to say go and upkeep. I'll path this guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Super lucky on that one. I don't think I have anything to you. Another bird. Right, I'm dead. Caca! <laughs> so I'm on the play for game two. I have this land ether vial hand. <laughs> I don't think it's a mulligan. I think I can just stick it on three for a while, but it could be real slow. I'm going to keep it down. Uh, again, this is a hand that doesn't seem like it does much. Uh, it has five lands and a discard and an oblivion sower. So I, th I think I'm going to mulligan this. Yeah, we're going to mulligan this. Hopefully our six is better since we do have a scry. This deck is a bit finicky. It has a lot of really expensive cards if you don't draw Ugin lands. Or sorry, uh, El Eldrazi lands. But even if you do, uh, sometimes his hands don't really do all that much. I mean, there we we couldn't even cast Oblivion Sower until turn five. So. Yeah, this hand is unkeepable on the draw. This folds any discard spell. Huh. Tilt. All right. Well, this is not a good one. Uh, I'm going to YOLO this one. All right, we're going to scry. <laughs> I mean, it's a spell. Maybe we should keep spells. Is it Ulamog the Cease of Hunger? No, it's, it a, it's a thought seat. Right, we're just going to bottom. I don't know. Whatever. We're probably okay. going to get toe up this game. Uh, yep. Might get toe up like turn eight. <laughs> All right. Uh, fetch black, white, you go. 
19. Perfect. All right, go. <laughs> All right, well, flood versus screw. Let's see who wins. Whoop. Go. Am I an attacking man? Yes. Uh, yeah, let's get in there. Yep. 17. Go. Go. I just want to cast a spell. No. I'll cast a spell. Go. All right. This is bad. I'll play Oblivion Sower. Exile your top four. I guess that's resolving and stuff. Get a land? Planes. Woo! Untapped planes. Here we go. Alright. You just don't care. We're gonna try to leave this one upside down so I know it's Tom's. Although it is a black border basic, so I suppose that's a good way to know it's Tom's. Our path of oblivion is over. Okay. I'll attack with his vault. I think I do. If he kills a thing, he takes seven, goes to ten. <laughs> Mutavolt has first strike. That's great. <laughs> it does. It is all creature types, including Rele Golem. Relevant ish. Alright, they'll no attack you. Yep, I'll path the Golem. I'm going to take uh, 7 down to 10. That's what I got. Alright. Alright, good. So, Shambling Event can prevent most of his attack next turn, as long as he doesn't have another removal spell, but I have a feeling that I have virtually no draws to get me out of this. That definitely doesn't help. Map. Okay. I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. I'm the map. Uh, I guess go. So I'll get another blade splash for my yeah, life. Yeah, orange dead. Got the fucker with for your cup. The land. I get it. I lose. <laughs> All right. So these are two linear decks that are not exactly on top of the uh, the meta game as far as uh, sideboard hate is concerned. We have a uh, a bunch of cards like Stony Silence, Ghost Quarter, Surgical Extraction, things that aren't very good in this matchup. Um, I I thought Ghost Quarter might be okay since he has Leon and Arbiter, and if he randomly puts into play, I could just Ghost Quarter him out of the game, but. Uh, I felt like uh, that just wasn't going to happen enough for me to, to really want it. Um, so we're just going to bring in a couple of disenchants to keep him off of Vile. And I guess Spell uh pretty good to hit too. Uh, Thoughtseize, I think, is is not good when we're... Our, we don't want too much discard when we're on the play. I think it's going to come down a lot to uh, a top deck war since uh, these two decks are pretty attrition based, or at least mine is. And uh, I don't want to have dead draws like in game one. I drew like two more discard spells after he had no cards in hand. So uh, we're going to be cutting the two Thoughtseas and bringing in two Disenchants. All right. So my small creatures seem real bad. Um, Judge familiar attacks them, but you don't really don't have many instances of sorceries. Drive Militant is bad against Eldrazi Scions, and it is, it's pretty awkward to cast a Pass Exile that goes to my own Exile Zone, then you could process it from there. But with that said, it does stop his Lingering Souls to an extent and is a combo with the Whitley Leeches. The Spell Skites stop his Wasteland Stranglers, be a target for his removal spells, his Disenchants, maybe keep my Vile alive. And Whitley Leech is just a bigger card. Um, another reason to put Vile on four along with Restoration Angel. Maybe I can just make my guys big enough to punch through. You know, give it a shot. All right. All right, we're here for game three. After sideboard, I'm on the play. Uh, this hand is pretty reasonable. I think we're going to keep it and hope that we draw a couple lands. Yeah, my hand's fine. I need some lands. Don't have a vial. All right, got a uh, curve, kind of. Uh, discard on one might actually be better here than uh, playing the Shambling Vent. So if we can take a vial from him or something, that would be sweet. So uh, we're going to go to 18. Yeah. That's a three drops. So two Thalia, 
blade splicer flicker. Thanks. So I think the card here that actually gets us the most is probably going to be blade splicer since it just makes our removal bad. Flicker was if since he doesn't have a uh, which calls it um, a, vial. a vial, it's going to be a little harder for him to get value out of that. If there was only one Thali in the hand, I might consider taking that, but uh, I think we're just going to take Blade Splicer and say go. So. I had a Plains and a Tectonic Edge. Yep. There you go. Go. Still seems more likely he'll have a Lingering Souls. Yep. Go. Attack. Yep. Go to sixteen. Go. Okay. If he wants to tech edge me, I think I'm okay with that right now. So we'll just keep playing this game. Mind sensor. Okay, sure. How much does he mind getting tech edged? I just told you not very much, but you can take that as you will. All right. All right. So I can activate Shambling Event, and if I do that, he'll very likely tech edge me then, because I, that'll keep me from being able to path if I activate the Shambling Event, thanks to Thalia. So this is the only opponent's right. Yep. All right. Guess. I still don't even really want... Mind Sensor doesn't actually hurt us that much. Yeah, I'm just going to take it, I think. So I'm going to go to 12. Play the Sphinx, get path, then what happens? I don't know. Could just play this and then like do some on his upkeep. No, that doesn't seem to make any sense either. I'll just leave up Tech Edge. Well, okay, go. Um, path mind sensor. Okay, you must do the tax. Yep. Go ahead. All right. I guess I'll just play a guy that. Hits on the ground, keeps it locked up. Trigger. Not bad. Some planes. Two planes. That's a good number. Um. Here you go. Hmm. If I just tech edge to I, what's that do? Nothing? Keeps me from activating I next turn. I don't know how good that is, but... Could be pretty good. I got a lot of good colorless guys in here. Blight Herder would be nice. It's probably... Probably bad lines for me. Whatever. Flick a whiz. Okay. It's planes. Bring it back. I'll check out your eye and your shambling vent. All right. Draw. Hmm. It's an interesting draw. 
All right. I think uh, best line of play here is just Wasteland Strangler, this guy putting uh, Leon Arbiter back in. I'll play an Urborg and say go. I don't think I need to do anything special. 22, 22. to 12. Yep, go. Huh, alright. Bajuka bog you. <laughs> Bogged. Oblivion <laughs> Sower. Trigger. Alright. And a Horizon Canopy? It's like Christmas over here. Alright, uh, guess. Don't really want to attack. Um, I guess we could draw a card because if we draw a strangler, we can actually strangler again. So we'll sack the canopy, draw a card. All right. I could attack, but if he draws a path or something, he could punish me there. And he can just block with Finks, so I think I'll just say go. I could have upkeep Tech Edge his flagstones to keep him from off of four mana for the turn go. since it does come in tapped, but I don't think that's worth it. Draw. Alright. I don't think I know any cards in your hand, so I'll just Inquisition you. I guess I have to pay two, sorry. Alright, thought season oblivion sewer. I mean, path it, sorry. Yep. Pay two. Oh, yeah, you have a guy. I'll pay two. What was your other card? Oh, the, the other Solia, yeah. yeah. I guess I'll get a plane since we have the Urborg and a million other planes. No, I guess if he randomly has a tech edge, it's better to just make sure I have enough black since I have all these planes. Um, I'll play Shamalina for the turn. Say go. Defense. Sure. Oh, two for that. Go. All right. I guess I'll just play in flashback. Lingering Souls. Finally drew one of those. Cost seven, I guess. Sure. Uh, here we go after that. Okay. Go. Oh. You do have to pay four now, which is kind of cool, I guess. All right, attack for four. Put you to 18. Uh, Blight Herder. I don't care. Three things. Or two things. And then uh, get three Scion. Here you go. There we go. I think we can start attacking now with the bigger guys, put a little more pressure on them. Uh, attack with these. Had to pay four to fetch. No, that seems particularly good. I just block that blight herder. Take nine, go nine, gain two, go eleven. Okay. Blight herder down. Let me say go. This, I suppose. Mm. Is it getting any better than this? Alright, look at these. I have this too. I don't know if that. Oh, Vince. It does change my tax to, to <laughs> zero. Okay, go. Alright. It's going to be pretty hard for Tom to get out of this. I will pay three total, I suppose, to play and activate Relic. Try 
try to draw something good. Um, so we're at 12. I don't think there's anything that kills me. This attacking is pretty bad. I think we'll just keep attacking with these. Let's see, if we attack with everybody, and he has three blocks, so I can block here. He only takes seven. If he has something weird off of this, we might get blown out, though, so we'll just attack yeah. with these. We're going to block that. Okay. Uh, so you take four down to seven. There we go. Go. Too much toughness. Sure. Could have cast that last turn. Maybe having five points of first strike would have been good, but would have. Oh, wait. Maybe I can attack one more now. Ghost quarter. <laughs> Twelve. Guess this will just probably just kill that. Yeah, whatever. I guess I'll just jump block. Alright. Go. I thought it. No cards in hand. Nope. Alright, so this is basically dead. Um, if we path a guy, I think he's just dead. Probably. I didn't so, do the math. Uh, three blockers here, here, here. No, you only take five, but. I think it's worth it. Most of your guys will die, so we'll path that. You can pay four if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so pay two for that. Um. guess I can force him to use his ghost quarter now. All right, hit the shambo vent. Yeah, I'll pay four and search. Yeah, I got one planes left. So you, you could also fetch now if you feel like it. You only pay it one time fee. Sure. All right, so I'll get the planes off of the ghost quarter and a godless shrine off of the fetch land. All right, and this tech edge is yours. Probably got another tech edge in here this year's. That one. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, let's untap. Let's draw. Too much junk going on over here. All right, that should do it. Uh, I'm playing I. Spend, I guess, two to turn this off. Three, four, five, six, seven to activate to go get a Wasteland Strangler. And then I'll cast it, process a guy, kill this and then attack with these you can block you still just jump block, block these two and take six down to one but uh we're at 12 and he has no cards so here you go and we have the eye hmm ether vial let me take it up all right uh, block all right i give up <laughs> I'm on the play, and I got a keepable hand with the Ether Vial, my favorite. I really just want a Relic of Progenesis in my opener. Just make me make me feel good about all these, uh, you know, processor guys in my deck. But uh, we're gonna keep this one. See how it works out. I have no idea if it's good or not. You try. You want to oh yeah, get this guy. Well, this six drop, uh, I guess, is keepable considering our hand. Yeah. All right. Go. All right. Oh, yeah. Go. Wow, that's a beating. Oh, yeah, we're just too far behind. Uh, play an exhibition map. Here we go. Alright, 22 to 20, and I'm going to go to 18 from an attack. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to give you a, a window to crack the map, so I'll just play it. Okay. Yep. Uh, Alright, then it's your turn. 
That is a good start. For sure. You got two cards in hand? Uh-huh. Good old Wasteland Strangler. This is a super tough decision here. We can do this and get rid of the vial. We can do this and get rid of either the Arbiter or the Thalia, and probably the Arbiter because this is, it's not, uh, uh this is bad. I mean, he can already just cast almost everything. The problem is that this can tick up and, and flicker with me and actually just like stone rain me for a turn on my on his instep or my upkeep but probably his instep i think i have to just kill this guy go if he hadn't had the thalia or if we'd been on the play this disenchant would have been significantly better yep i go to 13. go all right, uh, draw. All right, I will try to fetch. Uh, in response to that, I'm going to crack the map, I think. Can't kill that guy. We have to get super lucky to hit off of the marsh flats. So we're gonna do that in response to the mine sensor. We'll get another, we already played a land for a turn, but I'll get another Eldrazi temple. Uh, mine sensor is gonna resolve and then marsh flats ability is gonna resolve. Mm -hmm. uh, so I got 12 from the fetch. Top four. And we bricked, we'll shuffle and pass turn. Dog in play. I wouldn't want to do anything about it. So seven. All right, five. I'll just crack this canopy. I'm gonna crack this canopy right quick. Didn't play a land yet. This land. Guess this well. I'm gonna go score you now or later. Well, probably now, but I don't know. It's the temple's the biggest deal. I'm gonna go squared. I'll draw the temple. Top four, brick. Alright. Ooh. Getting strangled I'll here. I'll leave you with no outs if I do something. If you flicker with me on yeah, your end step. The turn, I'll flicker with that. Yeah, well, <laughs> why you wouldn't do that? I don't know, man. Alright, so it's your end step. This is gone. Do you want to cut? Nah. Alright, draw. Successfully hate Baird. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're on the play here for game three. Uh, or sorry, game five. Feels like game three. Uh, this hand is pretty solid. We're going to do ourselves a lot of damage, but hopefully pick them apart. Yeah, I'm keeping. Got no clock, whatever. All right, 18 Inquisition. All right. Uh, got one thing that can attack. I was going to take its creatures, I think. Uh, I guess we'll start with Spellskite. Let's say go. I don't know. Go. Alright, I will Inquisition again. I drew Horizon Canopy. I want that. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to fetch Inquisition a Path to Exile off a of Swamp. So I'm going to be at 15. Sure go. Hmm. Go. Relic, eat a thing on you. Uh, 
to go. So, alright, I'll just... Wow. Go. That's pretty good. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and exile everything. Try to draw a land here. Bricked. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> go. Oh, this deck is so weird. What do you know about this card? Yeah. All I know is about is path and planes. I think. Um, I think we're actually. Yeah, we'll take it. So I'll go to 11. Do I want to go score you? Probably not. There you go. Alright, strangle the token. Maybe I did want to go score to you. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Go. Mm, path that. Top four. Come on, sweetness. I know I don't have that many, but I'm just getting buried by this Ava Mind Sensor. That much. I'm at eight. Go. All right. I will. Actually, I'm not gonna play this yet. I play a relic. I'm gonna sack it. I'm play Shemley events, and I don't really want to get tech edged. Or not take edge, uh, ghost quartered. Even though it's gonna make me take a little bit more damage, I think I'm just gonna path mine sensor. That's probably bad. But if he plays like a tech edge or another ghost quarter, I just get annihilated if I don't hit that while he's tapped out. I think I might. I mean, I have the tools to be able to beat the golem. Hmm. Probably should mind sensor and ghost cord you that one turn. Yeah. Sure. Alright, five. I'm at three. Then ghost cord and upkeep. I can't beat a Ah, shoot. Alright, go. I'll ghost quarter the shamo event. Uh in your draw step. So I'll just draw a card first, I guess. Right, so draw a card. Uh, I'm gonna path that with the I'm gonna draw that. mana. Ghost quarter resolves, get planes. Just got one card in hand. I assume that it's either a land or path exile. So I don't think I wanna cast this thought season. Probably not. Right. Three. Yeah, I'm just gonna play souls. All right. Let's say go. Flyers, huh? All right, go. Draw. All right. Play another lingering souls. Sweet. I'm just gonna say go. Two cards. Yep. Probably great. Hmm. What's Muta Vault doing for me? Getting blocked. Yeah, true. <laughs> it does have first track though, which is nice. Alright, try. Alright, I'll... 
I'll block Mute Evolve and take the Blade Splicer. Okay, you're two. Two. Two of your guys die. Look at what started this. Oh boy. Yeah, that's good. Go. Nope. Alright, flashback, two souls. <laughs> Alrighty. And. Say go. Hurrah. Jumped. Walked. No more souls, right? You're all no, soulless. No. Hey, that's not a very nice thing to say. One. I think these are the attacks. Alright, chump, walk, walk. That is correct. I'm at two. Okay, go. Draw. About time. Uh oh. Play this blight herder. Mix up, or put two things in there. Oh, what am I doing? Make three scion. Um. Alright, so both those guys are ground pounders. Restoration Angel could be troublesome, so I don't think. Uh, I guess I can Inquisition before I do anything and see what you got, got going on. Alright, so I think we can actually just attack with all three of these. Make so, it. 17 to 2. Uh huh. Here we go. Yep. Go. Oh. play and crack map Let's see if I got anything sweet probably just gonna be an Eldrazi temple I could get another shambling vents yeah I'll probably just get that and then I'll attack for three shoot 14 here we go Yeah, yeah, whatever. Go. <laughs> so many vials. Alright, uh, play this. I'm gonna sack two Scion. Activate I. Go get a Strangler. Cast Strangler off the eye. Uh, kill this, put a something in your graveyard and then we're gonna attack for this many seven here you go go oh. be pretty careful here not to just die to a flicker whisper or rest though So we're two, so we can go to four off this shambling vent. We just hold back a spirit. What happens? Let's see. If we attack like this, he'll block here. This three, four, five, six, seven. If he has nothing, so he has to have a thing. Uh, if we attack with both of these. I think he's just dead. Alright, I'm gonna talk like that. Hmm. Alright, uh, targeting Blade Splicer. Let's see, I'm gonna go to four. So I'm just gonna slaughter pack this. 
and then then I'm dead. Yep. All right. Cool. All right. So that was a an, an actually a pretty interesting match. Um, I think there was a, a lot of showcasing on your side of the the man of denial plan with things like Ghost Quarter, Tech Edge, and uh, things like Avon Sensor and Leon and Arbiter. Uh, I think game four specifically, I just got crushed. I ended the game with two lands in play, and on my last turn, I only had one land in play for yeah. the Flicker Wisp. Yeah, it definitely did what the deck was supposed to do in that game four, just deny them. Um, it's not quite as good as the legacy version that has, you know, Wasteland and stuff, but along with Lean and Arbiter, Ghost Core does a good impression of it. I think maybe game five, I could have just uh, kept you off lands again, too, instead of, instead of letting you cast a Wasteland Strangler. But, yeah, oh. I think there was that definitely that one turn where you could have main face mind sensor and ghost quarter me, and that could have potentially taken me off of white altogether if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and unless I hit a basic on top, I couldn't even cast. Uh, I think I might have had a lane to hand to cast strangler, but I'm not sure. That was a, a pretty long game overall. But uh, yeah, there, there's obviously a lot of play with with the uh, the mono white deck, and uh, a lot more than I thought there would be actually, which is kind of interesting. So. Yeah, I think both these decks are pretty reasonable. And they have pretty good legs against the entire field, I believe. This is very disruptive against whatever your deck has. A lot more card advantage than it looks like. Very, very resilient and has the tools like, you know, Thought Seize and stuff. They're just good against whatever. And Lingering Souls is good against, you know, whatever. Then you have your own thing. So, like, half the deck is just a good deck. Another half is kind of a synergistic Eldrazi Temple deck. Yeah, um, I mean, there were a couple of draws there where I had two copies of Ivugan, and unfortunately, uh, there is no like float mana oh, with yeah. the with I play a second eye to play a six drop, and that that kind of stinks. But I, I thought that it was kind of cool being able to like cast a, a discard spell, and then with only three lands to play, like cast a discard spell and a wasteland strangler. That was kind of cool. We didn't see a game where I got to lead off with something like Relic of Progenitus to just auto turn on all of my stuff. But I did draw a lot of Path to Exiles, and you saw there was a lot of uh, you know uh, strong effects with Path to Exile plus Wasteland Strangler uh, that was really doing some work on Tom. So uh, we we didn't see my deck do I think as well as it could. Uh, I think it's been doing really well in Magic Online lately. It, it's uh, definitely born of of that uh, arena. And, yeah, five boats and leagues. Yeah, and uh, it definitely is interesting. And I, I think there's a, a lot of potential there. And if we have uh, more eyes take a look at it and and really like figure out what the best configuration is, uh, it it could end up being like a tournament staple. You know, eventually. Uh, I'm not sold on four Oblivion Sowers. I felt like I was drawing them a little too often and just not being able to cast them. Uh, I think I would like a few more utility spells closer to the ground. It was great uh, just exiling some stuff so that my Blight Herders and stuff could get turned on, but I feel like there's just a, a piece missing, and there's probably something that we just haven't figured out yet. You can try more exile cards. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, some Nile Spell Bomb or something. Yeah, I don't Your think... own Flicker Wisp. <laughs> yeah, that's actually <laughs> kind of cool. Uh, Flicker Wisp your guy into uh, Wasteland, Strangler. Wasteland Strangler. That's kind of sweet. Uh, unfortunately, Wasteland Strangler uh, triggers off a of casting. Not or was it cast or come into play? Mm. When Wasteland Strangler casts, I believe. I think okay. When Wasteland Strangler enters the battlefield, oh. oh man! So you could play this with Ether Vial. Most of I thought most of the process oh, yeah. was triggered on when you cast them. Maybe maybe it's some is. of the the bigger the bigger ones. But uh, Ether Vial plus Wasteland Strangler and Flicker Wisp seems kind of sweet. So there could be some potential there. I know Craig Wesco's had Wasteland Strangler in his Eth of All decks before, like his his White Winnie versions and stuff. So I don't know. There could be some some sweet stuff going on there. Anyway, guys, uh, this weekend we're gonna be in uh, Charlotte. Charlotte playing Modern. Uh, I know we said that at the beginning of the video, but uh, I want to take a moment to say that we're gonna have some great commentators there: Andrew Boswell alongside Chris Van Meter. Uh, two fresh newbies uh, to the uh, commentary scene, but both very knowledgeable about the game. Fairly charismatic individual, so it should be a good broadcast uh, and a great inaugural uh, tournament for those guys doing that. Uh, but if you want to also take a look down, uh, we're going to be giving away Kitchen Links. This is mm -hmm. the uh, quarter one play mat that we give away at all of our open series events. Uh, if you sign up for the main event, you're just going to get one of these. And I know that you've seen these on the version videos for the last uh, week or so, but or not week. No, this is the first one we've done in a while. But mm -hmm. we were showing these uh, a couple weeks back, uh, right before Christmas when we were having those. But we got a, uh, kind of looks like a corn cob pie, but it's actually a ladle in his mouth. A his cutie. eyes are so big. Yeah, and this is what we call Murder Cat, because he has a knife in his mouth and all he wants is this milk. <laughs> so this is a pretty sweet play, Matt, if you're a fan of cats and or uh, various cute things. Uh, I definitely want me one of these. So uh, you do get one of these just for signing up, and uh, I guess that's going to be it. 
I don't know. Yeah, so. All right, cool. Guys, thanks for watching the Verse video today. We're going to have more videos up this week with more modern action and preparation for Charlotte. Wednesday and Friday should be uh, Brad Nelson and both of those, one each with me and Tom. Anyway, guys, for Tom Ross, I'm Todd Anderson. Thanks for watching the Versus series on StarCityGames.com. Yeah, thank you all.